I knew what it was when I first felt it. Um, but the scariest thing to hear was to hear the doctor say literally the words, you have cancer. Um, how did I take it? I mean, obviously, I think in the beginning, it was, I was very scared. Um, just because if you hear the word cancer, it's not something that you take lightly. I don't know, I guess, I don't know the right way to process that kind of news, I guess. I, I was surprised, I was shocked, obviously, I wasn't expecting it, but um, we've just been taking it from there. This is the last day that I will have two testicles. Hi, Nina. What am I going to do tomorrow? Nina! Day one Day of one. infusion. Haven't started yet. And Aaron, how can you describe this experience thus far? Uh, all the way leading up to now. Yes. Been easy. And it's going to be easy from this point on. You definitely have better veins going up than on your hands, which yeah. is usually we try to start low. And who do you have with you? This is my mom. Hi. Hi. She's, nice she's filming. <laughs> So are you happy that I'm home after my first day of chemo? Yes. Are you going to be a good caretaker? I'm going to be the best caretaker. We are on our way to chemo day two. It's Saturday morning, 8.30. Aaron and Lisa overslept, so they talked to me for waking them up. You're welcome. <laughs> this is Michelle. She's a nurse day two. Hello. What are we doing? <laughs> We're hanging magnesium now. Cool. <laughs> That's about it. These are the electrolytes. These are the electrolytes. Nice. So day two of chemo. Almost done. We have like maybe 45 minutes left. Getting the last drug now of cisplatin. And then we'll be done for the day. Two days done. I'm getting tired. This guy picked me up this morning. Who? Oh. Steve Ranyo. I couldn't recognize him because he was in such a generic car. It was a cube. It's not generic. Agreed. It's the only one in America. <laughs> you go to Japan, you see a bunch of them, but not driven by guys who look like me. I was almost too embarrassed to go to chemo. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming up. Oh, I'm glad. You're welcome. I'll come every day if I could. Yeah. I could like come over here. salad sandwiches today, but evidently not, so I don't think I'll be coming up on Sunday anymore. Day five. It's the last day today for the first round.
tell me that this is going to drain me a lot. I'm going to be really fatigued, nauseous, tired, not going to have energy to do things. But it's like such that's such against my nature to be fatigued and tired and not have energy to do things that I just half expect that all of that is not true. That once the first round is over, I'm just going to go, you know, back to being active and going jogs, bike rides, bike tennis, but. These past five days are any indication, like once the treatment's over, I'm just wiped. All right, one down. One more. Uh, go get the cysts, yeah. Cool. It's okay. like a half hour? Yeah, 30 minutes and you're done. It's easy. Come visit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jen's a rock star. I'll be right back. <laughs>
last week was a little difficult for two reasons. Uh, reason one was the first emergency room visit. Reason two is the second emergency room visit. What happened? Fever. How high? 102. Second time this week. Yeah. We're frequent flyers to the ER. I know there's nothing I but both emergency room visits were easy and there was nothing really that came of it. Um, they were just checking to make sure nothing else was wrong and nothing else was. So uh, here we are. Next week on Friday is round three. About a week away from that. And then we'll be done. to bald head, get some poison pumped in it. <laughs> I'm gonna get you the best bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich you have ever had. He sent us. What is it? Blue Malnati's cheese heart-shaped pizza from Chicago. Oh my gosh. Cheese and a veggie. Oh my god. So nice. That's literally the sweetest thing I've nice ever thing. done. Why oh, eat this right? down of the last cycle. Tomorrow is the last day. Here we are on your last day of your chemotherapy. Any final thoughts on this experience? Just glad to be done. I want to say how proud I am of you and your positive attitude and your courage and determination. This was a monumental accomplishment, getting through chemo, and i um, very proud of you. And I'm extremely grateful to the Dean Farmer for taking such good care of you. So after nine weeks of chemo, uh, which they did um, because of my enlarged lymph nodes in my abdomen, uh, they need to do a CT scan on me in about a month. Uh, and the CT scan will show uh, if the lymph nodes have decreased in size, um, and if they have completely, then we're done. Um, but if they haven't decreased completely, then we're uh, probably in store for a surgery. Then we're coming back to the ninth floor at 450 Brooklyn Avenue.